Okay, now this question is something related to sulfide precipitation. So you will have a metal and metal can react with S2 minus, it can form metal sulfide. So this question is asking which sulfide will be precipitate first. So this is the heading you can write. And let me discuss the problem. So H2S is bubbled into a 0.2 mnSN solution. So I have NSN solution. So this solution contains a 0.2 mnSN. So the solution contains 0.2 mnSN. Through this solution H2S gas is bubbled. So basically H2S gas is bubbled through this solution. So H2S bubbled. So H2O gas is bubbled through this solution. Are you getting? Or you can say H2S passed through this solution. This solution also contains 0.02 M AgCN hole twice. So this solution also contains 0.2 M AgCN hole twice minus. So this contains also complex this. And this solution also contains one more complex that is also in 0.2 M. This is CDCN hole 4, 2 minus. Now the data that is given to you, KSP for AG2S, that is given. KSP for CDS, that is also given. So AG2S are 1 into 10 to the power minus 15. And for this is 7.1 into 10 to the power minus 7.1 you can write 10 to the power minus 20 at and dissociation constant for this is also given so KD that is the reverse of formation constant AGCN hole twice minus KD for this molecule is given 1 into 10 to the power minus 20 and KD for another complex that is CDCN whole 4 2 minus for this complex kd is also given this is 7.2 to 10 to the power minus 18 now the question asks which sulfide will precipitate first either cds will precipitate first because i have metal is cd another metal is ag so the question is asking either cds will precipitate first or agbs will precipitate so which will precipitate first which will precipitate first either CDS or AGS are you getting so which will precipitate first now how will you proceed this question so you just think equilibria in terms of equilibria will get the answer you see solution contains 0.2 m NSCN so you know basically the concentration of CN minus if you know the concentration of Cn minus, Kd for this equation is given, Kd for this equation is given. You can calculate the concentration of Ag plus, you can calculate the concentration of Cd2 plus. And once you know the concentration of Cd2 plus, you can calculate concentration of S2 minus just for precipitation. Also, you can calculate the concentration of S2 minus just for precipitation. Are you getting? So just think for one minute how will you proceed for this question. No need to write anything. Just think yourself how will you proceed and then we will discuss the solution. Now just think. Okay, if you have understood, then I can go further. Okay, let us discuss. So, you, let us say this equilibrium, KD of AGCN hold twice. So, what this means, you have AGCN hold twice minus. This will dissociate and it will form AG plus 
plus 2 Cn minus and equilibrium constant for this reaction is 1 into 10 to the power minus 20 and you see HCN2 minus here is given 0.2 M so this is 0.2 M so this is 0.2 M Cn minus will also be 0.2 M because this is same as concentration of Na plus and Cn minus that is 0.2 M so this is this initial situation now what will happen you know the Cn minus you know the Ag2 plus you can calculate the Ag plus are you getting or not because you see you can write down the equilibrium constant expression so 1 into 10 to the power minus 20 this is equals to Ag plus into Cn minus raised to the power 2 divided by 0 0.2 are you getting or not so you will have Ag plus is basically this divided by 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 is 5 so I can directly write 5 into 10 to the power minus 20 you can check yourself this 0.2 this 0.2 goes so you will still have 1.2 this point 2 comes this side so 10 by 2 so there is 5 now if you know the concentration of Ag plus you can calculate what is the S2 minus needed for just precipitation S2 minus needed for precipitation so what is the concentration of S2 minus needed for precipitation I can write Ag plus into S2 minus so if you will have precipitation of Ag2S you will have Ag plus plus 2 Ag plus plus S2 minus you will have Ag2S so you will have Ag raised to the power 2 S2 minus this would be equal to Ksp are you getting now Ksp value is given to you so Ksp for Ag2S is 10 to the power minus 15 so this is 10 to the power minus 15 and the concentration of Ag plus you know 10 to the power minus 20 so 5 into 10 to the power minus 20 raised to the power 2 concentration of S2 minus so from here you can calculate the concentration of S2 minus this is 10 to the power minus 40 so 10 to the power minus 10 divided by 25 5 into 5 25 so 1 by 25 into 10 to the power minus 10 or you can write uh, 4 into 10 to the power minus 12 so this is the concentration of S2 minus needed just needed for precipitation of Ag2S now similarly we can do the same calculation for precipitation of CDS are you getting so let us do the calculation same kind of calculation for CDS precipitation so now I have complex equilibria for CDCN whole 4 2 minus and this will dissociate and this will form CD2 plus plus 4 Cn minus and equilibrium constant for this reaction is 7.8 into 10 to the power minus 18 is given to you now I know the concentration of Cn minus that is 0.2 M and the concentration of this is also 0.2 M so I can calculate the concentration of CD2 plus 0.2 raised to the power 4 into CD2 plus divided by 0.2 this is equals to Ksp and what is the Ksp 7.8 into 10 to the power minus 18 so you can calculate from here Cd2 plus is basically equals to 7.8 into 10 to the power minus 18 this divided by 0.2 raised to the power 3 are you getting or not so this value will come out to be 7.8 so let me check 7.8 divided by 0.2 raised to the power 3 0.2 raised to the power 3 and this value comes out to be 975 so 975 into 10 to the power minus 18 I can write this is 9.75 into 10 to the power minus 16 so this is the concentration of CD2 plus now I will require the concentration of S2 minus so CD2 plus will react with S2, S2 minus it will form CDS so just for precipitation just for precipitation I can say CD2 plus S2 minus is equals to Ksp and Ksp for CDS is given uh, 7.1 into 10 to the power minus 28 so Ksp is given 7.1 into 10 to the power minus 28 and CD2 plus is this value so 9.75 into 10 to the power minus 16 and into S2 minus are you getting or not this is equals to 7.1 into 10 to the power minus 28 so from here you can calculate S2 minus 
So let us calculate what is the value of S2 minus that is coming. So 7.1 divided by 9.75. This is 0 0.728. So 0 0.728 and 10 to the power minus 16, 18. So we will have 10 to the power minus 12. Are you getting? So S2 minus needed for precipitation of, so I can write S2 minus needed for precipitation of CDS for precipitation of for precipitation of CDS this is equals to 0 0.728 into 10 to the power minus 12 we have also calculated S2 minus needed for precipitation of AG2S in the last and that value you check your copy what is the value that is coming out to be now you can say here 4 into 10 to the power minus 12 so this value is 4 into 10 to the power minus 12. You check your copy and let us copy this thing whether you are able to copy or not too fast. So if you see this value, you can clearly see the S2 minus needed for CDS precipitation is only 0 0.728. For AG2S is 4. 10 to the power minus 12 is common in both cases. So I can say S2 minus needed for CDS precipitation will be less. So CDS will precipitate fast. So CDS will precipitate fast. are getting because the needed S2 minus is less. Why this is happening so? You see what will happen. So I can explain. If you are increasing, if you are bubbling H2O through this solution. Now you are bubbling through the solution. The concentration of S2 minus slowly, slowly increases because H2S is also soluble in this solution. And H2S can further dissociate into H plus and H2H plus and S2 minus. So S2 minus concentration in the solution will increase. So a time will come when this concentration reaches to 0.728 into 10 to the power minus 12. At that point of time, CD will start precipitating. But at that point of time, AG will not start precipitating. Again, if you increase the, if you keep the bubbling on, what will happen? One point of time, large quantity of CDS will get precipitated. But uh, still, you are, you are the bubbling is on. So what will happen? Now a time will come when the concentration of S2 minus will reach up to 4 into 10 to the power minus 12. Because the, the solution is still getting saturated with S2S. So a time will come when your solution will contain concentration of S2 minus is 4 into 10 to the power minus 12. At that point of time, AGS will start precipitating. Are you getting or not? So you see, fast CDS will start precipitate. And after some time, AGS will start precipitate. One can ask a question, what will be the concentration of CD2 plus in solution when this just start precipitating? So you can calculate this one because you will, you will uh, know the AG S2 minus and corresponding you can do this one. This is a fractional precipitation. We will do some problem of this kind. So I think you have copied this one. Let us go for the next problem. So if you missed something, I don't think so. So let us go for the next problem. 